guys welcome back it's been a while i forgot what to say <laughs> <laughs> but it's thursday when it's fave it's been a it's been a hot minute it's been a hot minute <laughs> been a while but it's Thursday rest fave and what I'm gonna make my mom used to make when we were growing up people still make it today but I've never made it for my family here so today that word's supposed to be a band <laughs> today we are going to make pork and beans and ground beef I have been seeing people posting this a lot lately. My family, friends from Bylis. So, there I go again. <laughs> I was telling Warren about it. I said, have you had pork and beans and ground beef before? No. I said, really? He said, nope. So, growing up, my mom used to make this. And this is one of the recipes that I totally forgot about until like I said I seen people posting it on their Facebook page my family friends from Bialis from San Carlos so everybody so has theirs made theirs with fry bread so I made fry bread when my mom made it she would make tortillas all it is is ground beef and Pork and beans. No seasoning, maybe pepper, salt on the meat. But I don't remember. I don't think we've ever had seasonings on any of this. Just simple. Brandy. Hey, we're back. It smells good. <clears throat> I never had this. He's never had it. Ground beef and pork and beans. So I'm excited. I grew up eating this. My mom would make it with tortillas but today I made Robert so we're having it with fry bread we haven't had fry bread in a while well, we always say that <laughs> but for real though no no get down here we'll <clears throat> eat this over there look what I'm having it with he found that. We found this. TNR? TNR. <laughs> Next time we go there, there's going to be none. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go over there. Just leave it. <laughs> I 
I seen it, and I was like, oh, I'm getting it. Come Lord Jesus, we are gifts of this with us, be us, that this would be a nourishment to our body in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm. She's hiding it in my clean blanket. <laughs> See what the six year old was eating a long time ago. Holy cow. This is good. I was telling her I like um pork and beans. <coughs> Bless you. Must be the chili. I grew up eating this. Mm. Pork and beans and potatoes as well. I love fried bread like this. <clears throat> I gave you a bread. Look at you guys see Nala. See how I got so spoiled with fried bread? I can't do crispy fried bread. Mm. When my mom would make this when she would um, like a simple, easy dinner meal. What brought it back was, I seen a couple people post this in last week. Someone from Bylas had posted that they were having this for dinner. Did they do a whole picture too or they just mentioned it? Mm-hmm. They posted a picture. They, she made this with fry bread. So I showed him a picture. I think I showed him a picture. Mm -hmm. I said, ooh, look, this one would be a perfect Thursday recipe. <laughs> no, I was avoiding the camera, so she goes on the other side. I have never had this. I <clears throat> I was trying to vision the taste. Vision. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to imagine the taste. I don't know why it's a vision. This is a recipe from where I'm from. I'm surprised people still make it. One of the meals I totally forgot about. And you guys brought it back. This is really good. Can't believe this is the first time having it. Yeah. <laughs> And how many years? Over 10 years. <clears throat> Fry bread. Knocks it out the part. If it was tortilla, I would have just made it to third base. That was it. Mm. He prefers fried bread. <laughs> he prefers fry bread over tortillas. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm. 
<clears throat> now it's lately we're not eating bread as much as we used to. So, so. <laughs> <clears throat> not that she don't want to make bread. It's just I haven't been making bread. I haven't even made biscuits in a while. He makes the best biscuits. I can never. Um, I can make tortillas, Navajo tortillas, Apache tortillas, fry bread. But biscuits is one thing I cannot make. I can make yeast rolls. Oh man. I can't make yeast rolls. Shane Baloo needs to make fry bread. Yep. <clears throat> that needs to be on his resume if he wants to be Deli Uncle. Now I grew up eating this. Some people, I remember we made something on a Thursday res fave. And somebody said, we didn't have the luxury of ground beef or something. Yeah. But if you compare the prices from ground beef back in the 80s, 90s to now, it was way cheaper then. And what we're buying right now. This is good though, I like it. I'm really enjoying it. Pork and beans. All I've seen was just salt and pepper as a seasoning. No other garlic or anything. Just salt and pepper. It's good with this one. Are those good? Mm -hmm. It's not <clears throat> really tangy with vinegar like some of the other ones are. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Can you get half a fiber? Well, they're really good. Yeah. This fire bread. Yes, Nala. Nala Bean. He approves it. Yay. Five out of five. Thank you, Bylas, that posted this. <laughs> Shout out to all the Bylas and San Carlos and the Apache people, Peridot. Thank you guys for all watching. There's actually quite a few, huh? Mm -hmm. See what a surprise. Especially from her hometown. Yep, I was. <laughs> mm. What are you eating? <laughs> Do some of you guys try to re recipes? Or do you guys say, oh, I'm gonna try it, but never try it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I would say that. I'd be like, oh, that looks good, I'll try it. These are not hot. <clears throat> These are good, though. I'm gonna have to put them away with a commodity cheese. Hey, hey. <laughs> How much is in here? <laughs> 
I don't have a straw. <clears throat> you didn't find the um the hot sauce. <clears throat> There's a hot sauce in a bottle. I seen it at her mom's and I was like fell in love with it and the bay fell in love with it too. I think we ate it all from my mom. <laughs> Excuse me. Next time we're going out there, we're going to that store. And I can't believe I found that at TNR. We mm -hmm. hardly shop at TNR. We only go there for. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he comes on. Get it all from me. <laughs> we only go over there for store bread. <laughs> you guys can get the store bread. Sometimes we mention what we buy, and then every time we go back, it's always gone. For the longest time, Prime's have been gone at Walmart. No Prime. What else was the other one? Um, Mountain Dew energy drink. That's still not there. I don't know if they discontinued it now. They probably did, huh? Mm -hmm. Then it used to be the Monster Zeros, the six pack. Or the four pack? Four or pack. Four pack. Everyone started buying that from us. Now they buy all our fizzy drinks. Go to Walmart, there's nothing over there. Yep. Everyone bought it all. So, yeah, we usually go to TNR for store bread. <sighs> I'm full. It's almost time to go somewhere later. But this was good. I enjoyed it. I would eat more, but I'm going to feel like... <sighs> He's supposed to dance. <laughs> I give this a 5 out of 5. If you guys haven't tried it out, try it out you take my word for it it's really good because i have never ever ever had it before never even heard of pork and beans and ground beef together <laughs> i'm sure some people have tried it made it and tried it or make it on regular on the regular and i used to do that too i used to think about shane's um dish remember his ground beef carrots corn Mm -hmm. His Chinese version. And then I was like, nobody eats it like this. And then I was like, no. And then we did it and it tastes good. And then Arlenia and Nate. Nate said he grew up eating the noodles and the ground beef. And then we're like, let's try it out. And then for us, you think, man, it, it looks weird because you know, we never had it that way. But does it really go like that? And sure enough, we tried it and the whole thing was good. <clears throat> it seems like some people have had it and some have never had it. But I'm sure some people, other than where I'm from, have had this before. So, I but enjoyed it. I grew up eating it. I have never had it with fry bread. Hey, no. My mom always made it with um, fresh tortillas. That's the only way I ever had it. My grandma would make it every now and then. <clears throat> I know. When you say that, she gets shy. You have 1,000 people watching you. Hey. <laughs> you know what? Nala explores outside now, guys. Yeah, she goes above, above. Past her boundary now. Hi, what are you doing? <clears throat> she walks around. I gave you fry bread. Where's your fry bread? She went as far as the parking lot. Give me a, give me a. She sniffs everything. So she's getting so. <laughs> well, she's getting comfortable. 
<laughs> <laughs> she's getting um comfortable being around outside she would just go right there on the porch and walk back and forth she would not touch the dirt or the rocks until we took her to the park when we had a cookout on Sunday. We took her off the car. She started wandering around. Then we brought her home. And I told, I think it was Warren that was holding her. I said, put her down right there. See if she walks to the door. So he did and she walked this way. Mm -hmm. So earlier we went to the store. We came back. And she ran all the way over to the car. Yeah, she don't run out that far. Well, this was our Thursday Riz Fave this week. It was my Thursday Riz Fave. I grew Sorry up if, we this. Sound, if we sound weird. We haven't done a video in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. <clears throat> we, well, I grew up eating this. My mom would make it. My grandma made it every now and then. I'm sure there's a lot more that my mom used to make that I totally forgot about. But just seeing people post what they cook for dinner, I'm like, oh yeah, I used to remember that. So thank you to Thank you to Bylis. My friends and family from Bylis and San Carlos. I think next one <sighs> is his. No, remember yours is the next four. <laughs> We're trying to get back on track, guys. It's after we took a break. It's kind of hard to get back into doing all these videos, doing all these videos, cooking, vlogging. We haven't sold snow cones today because we're doing the video. We're eating late and we're headed somewhere in a little bit too. So, oh, is it it again? It's. The well, process trying to get back in. We're still here. We're gonna start um, recording, doing videos, cooking, vlogging. I'll probably vlog tomorrow or the next day of me and Nala's day. Nevea only had a three, what, days, three days home, three days off the of school, and she's going back to she's going to summer school. It's her choice. She didn't have to go, but she she wants to go. We're gonna let her. I think she wants to go because all her friends are going. So if you hear all that noise, it's her and her friend. Her friend had a sleepover with her and they're still playing. But I really enjoyed this meal. Go try it out. From a person that's mm. never, ever, ever had it. I give it a 5 out of 5. Yeah, it was good doing a Thursday recipe again. Thank you. I almost said it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for all watching and still supporting us. Thank you, Ransan. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, thank you for sponsoring this video. Um... We appreciate it. We, we really do appreciate it. There's quite a few videos that have been sponsored and we're still not, still don't know how to say thank you to everybody. Mm -hmm. But thank you guys. And I guess we will see you guys on Thursday, Friday, rant Saturday. So I got a bunch of stuff I've been holding back for. When do we try to say rent Saturday? Three months now. <laughs> no, we'll see you guys on Monday. Sunday. Sunday. We'll see you guys on. See, I even forgot all this stuff. We'll see you guys on Simmer Sunday. And I hope you guys enjoyed that dish too. Bye. Bye.